Hello, my name is Jonas Rafoner with Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. Today, I'm going to show you how to retrieve an event from the SEL751 relay to a laptop. And we're going to learn about the basic functionalities of SyncroWave Event 2015. To gather and analyze an event from the 751 relay, we need to have established the communication channel to the device. Once we have established the communication channel, we're able to gather the event through Accelerator Quickset. You gather the event through Accelerator Quickset by going to Tools, Events, Get Event Files. The Event History Overviewer is going to show up and give you an outline of all the events that have occurred and were recorded on the relay. Here, you select the relevant event that is pertaining to the fault that occurred by selecting the check mark. The event type to choose depends on what event occurred on your system. If you're looking at CT saturation, transients, transformer inrush, or arc flash, you would want to retrieve the raw event from the relay which is the 32 samples per cycle event. The four samples per cycle filtered event gives you the information of whether a protection element operated as it was supposed to. The protection elements in general operate on the 60 Hertz fundamental frequency. For this particular example, we're going to retrieve the filtered event report, four samples per cycle. Once we've selected the particular event, and the event type, we now move the cursor to select the get selected events. We choose the location on our computer where we want to store the particular event. We can custom name it and save the event. Once we've retrieved the event from the device, we go to the location where it was saved and open it up. The SynchroWave Event 2015 software is laid out so that on the very top axes the three phase currents A, B and C are depicted. The axes below showing the three phase voltages. In this particular event VAB, VBC and VCA. The bottom axis is showing the digitals that were involved in the trip operation of this event. On the right hand side, the relay is identified, its relay label, the file name, FID string, and sample rate are depicted. The custom calculations chart on the right hand can be used to create constants and multiply those constants with the analog quantities, or to compare constants with digitals. If you want more information on the custom calculations, you can click on the help icon. If you want to add any additional element to one of the axes, you can click on the signals to be displayed on the chart icon and add an additional element. If you want to add a particular quantity, you can use the search feature in the quantity selection by typing out the quantity and adding it to the axes. If you want to remove a quantity from an axis, you click on the X under the select quantities. If the currently displayed window does not provide you sufficient information, you're able to add additional analog quantities or digital quantities to the charts. You can create new charts entirely by erasing a chart, closing it, creating a completely blank view that allows you to custom design your own window of analog charts and for example additional features such as the phasor diagram, spectral analysis chart, harmonic analysis chart, Bewley diagram for traveling wave fault location, Mohs circle diagram for the impedance plane, and alpha plane for current differential protection elements. If I add a phasor diagram, I choose 
the analog quantity phaser that is going to be added and the phasers depict the information where the cursor is currently at within the event. If I want to take a closer look at the relay settings, I click on the view event report relay settings and I'm able to search for a particular setting. If I want to add to the digital chart that has changed status, I'm going to check mark the only show change digitals and choose from the digital relay word bits that have changed its status throughout the event. If I want to export the event in form of a com trade, I can click on the export event com trade icon and choose a location on the computer where I am able to retrieve the com trade. These are some of the basic functionalities of the software SyncWave Event 2015. If you want to learn more about the software, please visit our webpage under selink.com. Thank you for watching.